the French Revolution was a period of change in the Kingdom of France from a monarchy to a constitutional based society, removing the reigning King Louis XVI from power and installing a parliamentary style government. This included changes to the financial system, ending feudalism, giving more religious freedom to non-Catholics and transferring control of the Catholic churches and monasteries from the Vatican to the newly formed French government. The root of the problem for change was due to the taxation system and how the Crown collected tax and how they budgeted spending. The responsibility of collecting tax was placed locally on each of the 13 provinces of the country, not at a national level. National taxes could only be approved by meetings of the Estates General, which had not occurred in over 150 years. Whereas in Britain, it was centralised with the Parliament collecting and managing revenue, having regular meetings. In France, tax rates varied greatly between each province, resulting in inconsistency and a growing divide between the wealthy and lower classes. Attempts to make the system more unified and transparent were always blocked by province leaders. France was struggling to service its debts, however the finance minister Turgot was able to reduce national debt from a lingering 12% to 6% in 1776. Turgot, however, was dismissed because he argued it was not financially wise to intervene in the American Revolutionary War. This was an important period in the North American continent because the 13 British colonies there were fighting for freedom from Britain and they wanted France to help them. France also had colonies in Central North America during this time, the British colonies being in the East. The finance minister Turgo was replaced by Swiss Protestant Jacques Necker and thus France went to war against Britain in 1778 with the Anglo-French war lasting until 1883. In addition, they formed an alliance with the American British colonies in 1778 via the Franco-American Alliance in which they sent military supplies to support their independence. The 13 British colonies in North America had already declared independence from Britain on the 4th of July 1776. Thomas Jefferson, who had a Protestant history, encouraged the role of France as a military and economic partner to weaken British influence. By the end of the war with Britain in 1783, France did not make much gain globally. Apart from assisting the United States in gaining independence, their own gains were meagre. They were in debt and Britain was not affected much from losing their American colonies. They quickly formed ties again with the newly independent United States and out-traded France. This led to a financial crisis in 1786 and this led to King Louis XVI calling a National Estates General meeting. During this meeting, of nobility, clergy and commoners, protests began on the streets of Paris where even a regiment of the French Royal Army joined the protests. They stormed the Bastille on the 14th of July 1789, which was a large store of arms and ammunitions. In fear of losing power, King Louis appointed Lafayette and Bailey as commander and head of a new administrative structure called the Commune. However, the people already felt that power had shifted away from Louis. More civil unrest was occurring with mobs and militias forming. In August, Lafayette prepared a draft constitution with the assistance of Thomas Jefferson from the United States called the Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen. However, no consensus had been reached as they needed approval from the Crown, King Louis. He conceded in October 1789 to the newly written constitution and he was renamed King of the French. Following this, the power of the Catholic Church was shifted to the government, named the National Assembly. Church property was confiscated. The civil constitution of the clergy of 1790 made them employees of the state, as well as establishing rates of pay and a system for electing priests and bishops. 
24% of the clergy agreed, while the rest were against this act. This caused a large part of the civil population to turn against the revolution, causing further problems. The National Assembly forced the uncomplying clergy into exile, deported them or executed them. In September 1790, the 13 provinces of France were abolished and a new independent judiciary system was created by the new rulers. In 1792, the First Republic was declared and then the reign of terror between 1793 and 1794 began, where some 16,000 criminals and people against the revolution were executed. This included the execution of King Louis in 1793. His wife Marie Antoinette was from Austrian royalty who were also devout Catholics like the French. She did not like the Director General of the Royal Treasury Jacques Necker because of his Protestant faith and did not support the revolution. She too was executed by guillotine like her husband. Marie Tussaud, who the Madame Tussauds Museum is based on, was employed to make a death mask out of Marie's head. It's important to mention the Society of the Jacobins, which sprouted or came to light in 1789, just before the Reign of Terror. They were the most influential political club of the French Revolution. It was founded by anti-royalist deputies from Brittany, which was a duchy that existed in the northwestern part of France, a peninsula that was settled by Celts and had been referred to as Little Britain. The Jacobin membership grew rapidly to more than half a million and they played one of the most influential roles in ousting the monarchy. In 1795, the Directory Parliament took over, which was a name given to the new parliament. During their time, they went to war against Britain, Austria, Prussia, Kingdom of Naples, Russia and the Ottoman Empire. Although they had many military victories, the Coupe d'Etat of Napoleon Bonaparte in 1799 saw them out. This was the end of the revolution, ending the Kingdom of France which had lasted for almost 1000 years. Its culture, people and religion was changed forever. <laughs>